Alright guys, so we're going to be playing through Alan Wake on the hardest difficulty. Uh, I believe it's called Nightmare Difficulty. I've already played through the game on the channel, but I wanted to play this game again, my favorite game ever. And I wanted to do something with this game, starting this October at least. Um, this will carry into November. But, um... Uh, there are some, uh... Collectibles I still don't have in this game, surprisingly. As you can see down near the bottom, it says coffee thermos is found 99 out of 100, can pyramids knocked over 11 of 12, and signs found 23 of 25. So I'm missing four collectibles, really. Overall, I found all the manuscript pages, um, but you can only find all those in the Nightmare difficulty. So I've played through the game several times, um, but I love this game so much I can't stop playing through it. Um, Originally, I was going to play this whole game in one go this October, in one night, just play, you know, the entire base game through in one go, but uh, I don't think I don't have time to really sit down and play the game for like eight hours straight, so we're just going to break it up and do it on the hardest difficulty. should be a lot of fun. If I can find the other collectibles, that'd be great, so I'll have to search around more. I have my strategy guide here, uh, just in case I might want to refer to that, but... If I don't find all the collectibles, it's not that big of a deal. I just figured maybe I could take a look for them and get them because I never have, never got them all, which is pretty crazy. Considering this is my favorite game ever, you'd think I'd want them. <sighs> but uh, we might skip a couple cutscenes too and whatnot just because, you know, we've already played through the game and just we want to speed things up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see though. But let's go to a new game on Nightmare Day. Difficulty. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. And episode one, Nightmare, here we go. From the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. I always get excited to play this game again. This is, I think, my sixth playthrough of the game. And just no matter what, I always enjoy it. broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. I was certain I had just driven from this direction, but now the road was blocked. <laughs> Love exploring in this game, house. too. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. I can't believe I have 99 of the 100 coffee thermoses. Like, that's crazy. There's one I'm missing. Uh, 
I have no idea where it would be. I'm just gonna look over here in these little patch of woods here. Like I said, you guys might see me explore a little bit more in this than I did in my first playthrough on the channel, just because if I do kind of want to try and find these uh, these collectibles if I can. I believe the first coffee is uh, down that bridge right there. It's the lighthouse. I mean, this is the horror game for me. This is just... I can't speak highly enough of this game. You guys, if you guys know me on the channel here, you know how much I, I freaking love this game. Yeah, I believe the first coffee thermos would have been right here. So... I mean, the fact that these graphics still hold up. This game's about 10 years old now. The fact that these graphics and everything still hold up really, really well. I love the atm- this game has the best atmosphere. Which is another one of the reasons why I love it so much. The best atmosphere you could possibly hope for in a horror game. Storytelling is top notch. Gameplay is top notch. Graphics are fantastic. Characters are fantastic. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, he's gonna chase us now. I don't. I don't recognize you. Thomas Zane there. You missed your deadline. Deadline. Okay. Come on. Oh, that was not a very good dodge. Come on, do it again. There you go. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. It's pretty crazy how control was linked. Alan Wake was linked to control. Like that's really crazy to me. You guys wanna watch my control playthrough? Oh shoot. Just go to my control playlist on my YouTube and you can see the playthrough of that game. That was a really good game too. Okay, now we gotta run. Now we gotta run, run, run. Cross the creaky bridge. Great opening to the game too, like this first little section is really good. Hey Clay Stewart, yeah I remember you. Thomas Zane. Cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Go 
Got away from the bang, the door open. There we go. Follow the light. <laughs> you are hurt. Almost dead too. Into the light. You are only safe there. Safe haven. Okay. This is where we meet Thomas Zane. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my life. Yeah, sure I understand. He's gonna build this. And this is where we're gonna get our uh, the hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark flashlight. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects all of our ammo. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Give me the flashlight. There we go. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Oh yeah, nightmare difficulty it takes so much longer to burn the darkness away too, so it's gonna be they send more guys after you. I'm gonna die a lot probably. You okay. did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Look at all these shots it's taken. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught okay. you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks. <laughs> In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Apparently there's a um there's a one of the can pyramids is here in this first part of the first chapter. I don't know if I actually got that one before, but I'm just gonna look around for a second. I don't know. Man, I love this game. <laughs> Hey Sparky, uh, well, morning to you. Uh, it is night time here. But over there in Germany, I imagine it's morning time. You're not trying to do the one sitting thing, a nightmare right now, are you? No, no, I'm not. I'm just going to play. I decided I'm just going to play through the game again on nightmare difficulty and break it up into each episode um, again. I'm going to try and attempt to find the uh, last couple collectibles I need to in the game, but I don't it's hard to know even which ones I need, so I don't know if I'm going to find them all. But we're just going to play the game again on the hardest difficulty just for like a little added challenge and just have some fun. I have beat it on this difficulty before, but it was like a long time ago, so I want to try it again. Um, plus I want to savor the game. I always like savoring the game. If I played it all in one night, it would be fun, but it would take probably like anywhere from 8 to 10 hours. And kind of just want to savor it. I right, just send a couple guys here. Oh, shoot. 
Already struggling here. <laughs> Get these guys. There we go. Alright, so according to the strategy guide, there should be a canned pyramid somewhere around here to shoot. You gotta shoot them to knock them over. I don't know which ones I've gotten, which ones I haven't. That's the problem. Flare gun. I don't see a can pyramid anywhere. Or is there? A, oh, is that a coffee thermos down there that I never got? There it is. There's the last coffee thermos I need in the game, right there. How did I never find that before? I just got an achievement for that. That's crazy. How did I never? I've never been in this little crypt here before. Blowing my mind right now. That I haven't gotten that before. Possibly be a pain on anything but easy. Oh, to play through it all in one night like this? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. To <laughs> play a nightmare difficulty in one night would be... It could take a while because, you know, got to account that it's gonna, there's going to be several deaths. But, uh, there we go. I can't believe the last coffee thermos was right there the whole time. How did I never see that before? Because I always come straight up here and just go there, but I never ever looked down in there and saw that. That's insane. Well, we got it. There should be more. Remember looking around for those things. One of the few games I complete I completed fully. Yeah, I, I still haven't. I don't know why. I still don't know why I haven't beaten this game 100%. I could fall, I could fire my, my flare gun right now. There we go. Love this game so much. So, I, I think I'm going to miss some collectibles because I'm kind of like referring to my strategy guide as I go here. So, it's going to be a lot of stopping and starting. But, um, at least I already got all the coffee thermoses. That's one thing down. I need one more can pyramid and two more signs. Apparently, there's two signs that I still haven't gotten to click on and, and read. So there should be another ammo cache somewhere close by. So this will be a series that carries over into November, but I figured this would be... I wanted to play this game again so bad, so... I've got no more batteries. Wait for this to charge. There we go. What? How'd he swing at me when I was blasting him with the flashlight? There we go. So they're not going to give us as much supplies either. Shoot another guy? Oh my gosh. Are they just like respawning or something? Like, what's going on here? Oh, really? I think I should probably move. Come on. I hope they aren't respawning or something. Ridiculous. They like seriously are just respawning like these two guys. I'm out of ammo, which is great. I can keep this okay. up. <laughs> it's 
there anything in there? No. I think I might have already gotten the can pyramid that was there. That's probably why I don't... It didn't show up. Got this crazy part. Are you like me, Sparky? And do you want a, uh, a sequel for this badly? Because I want a proper sequel more than anything right now. Into the lighthouse now. Here we go. put on my Halloween lights as the sun is setting here. Get them turned on here. Just fine. another nightmare. He dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're Doesn't here. anyone who ever played and enjoyed this game want a sequel? <laughs> Fair enough, yeah, exactly. We all do. Remedy needs to just deliver it to us already. I love this part of the game. You get the, kind of the scenery. I love this little town of Bright Falls. This would have been so cool if there was like an open world game where you kind of explore this nice little town here. It'd be really sweet. Like if they were to make the second one. Although, I don't know if it would ruin the experience or not. But oh, that's right. She wants to take a picture of me. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Man, I love, love the scenery in this game. Just, I would move to Bright Falls. What a great little town, huh? Let's see who has the last laughs. Okay, good day to you too. I guess now more than ever, with the references and control, I know, like, they teased us there in that game by giving us... Obviously, this guy ends up being important role later on in the uh, one of the chapters here. I kind of that really did blow my mind when uh, they they referenced Alan Wake and put it in the same universe as Control. Hello there. You picked a good time. Pat Main. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, uh, if you don't mind me saying. I I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Waiting for the diner scene. <laughs> yeah, gotta love the the oh dear diner. Perfect. I mean, look at this town. I mean, it'd be so cool if they could let you an open world Alan Wake game where you could go to like a town like this and just openly explore. Alan Wake's American Nightmare was obviously kind of just like levels that you could openly explore, which is really neat. But a full out like open world game would be pretty crazy. I imagine because Control was a little more open world ish. 
the whole bureau you can kind of just freely explore more or less and um but it was you know you're in one building like uh, having like a cool town like this would be a lot of fun I got a suspicion the jukebox you saw in the beginning of Control was the one from Alan Wake. Yeah, I thought maybe it could be. Uh, it just might just be like a little Very reference, nice. a little Easter egg there. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's Barry. Seller, that was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got <laughs> No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, no. I don't wanna. I wanna stay on the boat and enjoy the view. Cause there's a, I know there's like max, probably max pain references in this game, like Easter eggs, I imagine. I am. Um, I think there's like Max Payne books sitting in like some of the bookshelves or something. I never played Max Payne, so I don't really know. Even if there were, some of the references would be right in front of my face, and I wouldn't know what they were. Um, Quantum Break, I know, has some Alan Wake Easter eggs in it, which was pretty neat. I would like to see a Quantum Break too, as well. I, I really would. I, yeah, that game's really good. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. Uh, calling me a lazy bastard, huh? So as you can see, there's some people standing there. The townspeople aren't moving. They're just standing there. Not even moving anything. There's a school bus sitting right there. Everything's stationary. The mountain views. Let's get back in the car and drive to the town. We're here. We're here. Is this game supposed to take place in what state would this be? In Washington, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember what state this is supposed to take place in. Some of this reminds me of areas of like Pennsylvania and stuff. Um, pretty cool. Like Alice, you're being impatient, Alice. Hang on, I'm just checking out the town here. I'm looking at the views. I like to look at all the little details in there. <laughs> I'm pissing off the AI. All right, let's get out. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <laughs> I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the O Deer Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. That's Rose. Oh god, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. <laughs> Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe Cynthia it. Cynthia Weaver's a I got all your books. I got the cut-up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and to keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. I was thinking about, um... Oh, that guy right there. Look at this dude running over there. Coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. 
Cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is Who's no it? longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. I didn't realize they're, now they're showing people move around out in the town. That's cool. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Coconut song time. Yeah, it is. I was going to mute the, the music because I, I know that it like... It's copyrighted, but like my first playthrough of this game on Twitch and YouTube, it allowed to uh, to keep the music in, so I know it doesn't like mute it. Um, I kind of look around. I love this little diner. Kind of look around. Little diners like this are the best. I stopped at one in Virginia once on a cross country road trip and it was called the Lighthouse Diner. It was so it was so cool. Now oh, this table needs to be bust. This dude reading his paper. Alright, so this probably isn't one of the signs that I need to read. Here's come Oh gods I could really use a tune right now Hopefully this game doesn't mute now with the music Suppose it could Both of my legs have gone to sleep Bad circulation Yeah are you serious coconut again you disgust me Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I wish diners like that were a thing in Germany, but worth go going going to one just for the atmosphere alone. Be worth yeah. Yeah, I've been to like several diners like these. Um very nice. Yeah, like I said, the one in Virginia was very, very, very cool. It's themed, you know, but it was it was very cool. I went to a couple diners, cross country, and then nothing like a classic diner. You gotta get, you gotta get like a burger there, a coffee. I wasn't ready to leave. I needed but to find Carl's it's better to find the ones that are just in town, you know, that aren't chains either, because the chain diners aren't, aren't as good, of course. <laughs> Soundtrack in this game is amazing. Rose won't let me behind the counter here to get some coffee. Alright, Cynthia, let's get it going. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Over eager. There we go. Hello? <laughs> the waitress was giving him a headache. I love how Rose is like the only one that works there. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. Coffee, sure. how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. <laughs> like Alan doesn't even like care that this lady's like the creepiest Alden thing ever. Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I'm looking forward to the uh, Alan Wake TV show that's being produced because that's, as far as I know, that's still happening. I'm not sure when it's going to be getting filmed or when it's airing or where it's even going to be airing. There was a web series called Bright Falls. Very short. It's pretty good though. The 
Parsons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Mm hmm. Oh, Rose. Nothing else to say, Rose? Not I'll even to me, Alan Wake? As soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the Park Cafe. This is what coffee should taste like. Oh, Rusty, you forgot about the TV show, and you're gonna oh, you're gonna look it up. Sweet. Yeah, I want to know if that's actually still happening. Last I saw it was. So I mean, that could help spark a new game too. I just hope the cat. For me, it's obviously the writing has to be good. The cast has to be good, and then. Just if they can get nail the atmosphere of Alan Wake, me there. it'll be good. But I wonder what they'll do if they'll like model it after the game, like this story directly, or if they'll be like its own thing. I wonder what they'll do with it. Because I'm not leaving just yet. Because um, I'll be exciting. Nothing would excite me more than a sequel, though. If they made it, Alan Wake 2 was announced, that'd be the the game I'd look forward to more than anything right now. Like, I would be a little kid on Christmas the day that game would come out. I hope you enjoy your stay and break your Let's get out of here. Mission Let's find our wife. Key and the directions. My, My hero. hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! <laughs> that diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation. <laughs> I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but... Of course, Roy Orbison playing in the background. Love Roy Orbison. Yeah, and dreams. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. How long is this first chapter? It's an episode, actually. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I love this. The, uh... I mean, this. Who wouldn't love to stay in a cabin like sure this right here in the middle of the lake? Secluded? Like in the brochure. Said near the lake, not on it. So well here. Just go take a look up this trail. Enjoying, always enjoy the calm little moments in this game. Some of the gameplay aspects of this one kind of remind me, or I should say, State of, Dec State of Decay 2 kind of remind me of. Just little subtleties in the gameplay. Look at this view, man. There's the, uh... Lodge up there. Love this little music that's playing, too. I did... This calming, like, background music. The 
cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Of course, my song Alice on the, that I put on my channel is after this Alice. It's an Alan Wake song. I've written um, a couple different Alan Wake songs. Actually, I should probably share another one. One I made is an instrumental of just like kind of like it kind of sounds like 80s horror music. I should post that on YouTube. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow or on Halloween. I can premiere it. Um, It's an older one I'd made. My song Daylight, which is a popular song of mine. It's like the one that everybody seems to like the most, uh, friends and family or whatever, but it's actually a song about Alan Wake. <laughs> if you listen to the lyrics, you'll uh, you'd understand that it actually is. You'll, you'll get it. Because I had made a small Alan Wake EP back in the day that I made for, you know, I, I, it was like a cheap little EP I made on my own. Put it out for free on like SoundCloud or something. Under a different name, a different artist name back then. But that was before I really got serious about everything. I was just like doing it kind of for fun. It wasn't like high quality production of any kind back. I couldn't find much, just old news from last year, huh? Well, I appreciate you checking on that, Sparky. Thank you. Um, hopefully something news will come up soon. They could just be filming it right now, for all we know. As long as there's no news of it being cancelled, that, that's a good thing. Choo, let's jump around. Alright, Alice, let's go. Can I jump in the water? No? <laughs> Every time I play this game, I find new little details, new little fun things to do. There's a crow. This whole like property fenced around. Oh no. Go to the edge of one of these uh points here. Just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. The lighting in this game is it's just Incredible. Obviously, that was like one of the main focuses by the team when making, developing this game. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Yeah, maybe maybe on Halloween I will premiere that song. I have a song, like I said, called Run, Run, Run that I wrote years ago. It's not even, there's no lyrics in it. It's just an instrumental, but it's uh, it's for Alan Wake. Just kind of like a background horror song. Maybe I'll just upload that to YouTube. Because I don't think it's ever going to go on like an album or anything. The but generator had been connected to the power cable. A zero album, anyways. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Oh, I wanted to look around more. <laughs> I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Okay, 
as the sun begins to set, the fog rolls in. Still beautiful here. And look at this. And the gameplay breakups in this game are perfect. Like, they give you some action, then they slow it down a little bit, give you more action, and then they give you, like, a lot of action, and then it's slowed down again. Like, just the the speed of the game is just is perfect. It allow you to kind of just chill here in these moments and just enjoy the scenery, almost like we're on vacation ourselves. <laughs> Before the horror begins again. There's an axe here. Pretty sure this is supposed to take place in Washington. Look at that. Look at that. The sunset there. Alright, let's head in. Wind chimes. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't Alice? like this little Honey? cabin. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Of course, I don't need to get all the radio shows because I've, I've got I've collected all those, so I'll just. Let that go. Come on back here and enjoy another view. Another angle of the view. Coffee. Oh, yeah, she's got a surprise. <laughs> surprise. Who's my uh surprise. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past Damn, Alice, you everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. <sighs> Here we go. Alice! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Oh, we're coming. I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! The birds, the darn birds. What the hell? Oh, no! Keep going, Alice. Way to go. Alice? 
Atlas? And now to see your love set free. <laughs> Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have the to witch's cabin key. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book <laughs> brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the I guy's like smug it. face on the cover either. There it is. Take in the atmosphere. I need to watch more. There's a couple more. Maybe a horror movie tonight. I can't believe Halloween's in two days. Like, not even two days. It's crazy. The gas station was my it's like best a day away. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. <laughs> I love Halloween, but I get so sad when it's over. Because <laughs> then I'm like, oh. Because I know my favorite time of year is over. So I gotta watch some horror movies the next couple days. Some of my usual ones, and to enjoy. I think this is my I think this is my sixth playthrough of this game. Maybe seventh, I don't know, six or seven. I lost count at this point. But so far I'm just enjoying it just as much as I ever do. Like it's crazy. Like I don't even this game just doesn't get old to me. I almost fell off right there. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As you can see. Hello? Because I remember the, the day this game came out, I think I played the first two or three episodes like straight away. I was just like, it was at least the first two. I think it might have been the first two episodes I played like straight away. And just was like in love with this game. Obviously there can't be a can pyramid around here because I don't have any my weapon. Hello? Hello? Someone there? I don't have any script pages. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. So technically this is all an altered world event. <laughs> According to Control. But this is... um. We can only get all the manuscript pages on Nightmare Difficulty, but I already have all the manuscript pages, so I don't need to worry about those. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident! I 
I still don't understand what the red chairs are. Like, there's you know, there's like red armchairs that show up in this game. Are they a reference to like Max Payne or something? I'm not sure what it is. Maybe um, is it a Stephen King reference? Maybe. I think somebody said something about those on one of my streams of this game before. That it was like a, a reference to something. I don't know if it was like to Stephen King or to Max Payne or what. That's the thing with favorites, you don't get tired of them. My personal favorite game even frustrates me and I'm not even mad about it. I keep playing it and embrace it. What is your favorite game, Sparky? And yes, you're right. Favorite games don't get old. That's why they're your favorite game. This game will always be my favorite. The lights just up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. And it's great because this game organically was just my favorite, you know. Like I always was a huge fan of Banjo Kazooie. I love that game. I always will. And I, for a while, that was my favorite game. But when I played this, this, I knew I was like, this is this is gonna be my favorite game. Like this is before I even beat it. And the more I play it, the more I just love it. You know, it just it wasn't like. It, it was a series that was already out, and I was like really looking forward to the next game. And it's like, oh, by default, it has to be my favorite. No, it's just this was something new. Then I decided it looked cool. I pre-ordered it, bought it, played it. I was like, yep, this game's this game's the best. There's another manuscript page. Not that I need those, but if it's in front of me, I'll grab it. It's dark over here in this corner. It's an old arcade game, older than me by two years now, called Jump Bug. Jump Bug? It's, a, it's an arcade game? Was it ported to any consoles, or was it just like a straight up arcade? Jump Bug. I don't think I've ever heard of that. What is it like? Is it like Frogger or something? Oh, Alan, you'll soon realize that everyone here is trying to kill you. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Listen. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. <laughs> Carl Stucky. To beat you. Non-refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. <laughs> Fair and square. There's some all turned around here. Do I go this way? Just the way I came. That is the way I came. Okay, I was like, where am I going here? Nothing over there. Just want to take a look. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I see. Logs here. <laughs> Alright, Carl, calm down there. Latest thing. Don't get in there. I had to figure a way out of this. 
any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Yep. Wendy! Oh, Wendy! During your... <laughs> Trying. He's got his gun and his flashlight back. I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. I don't think I've ever heard it. I'm gonna look up. Oh my gosh! Carl Stucky, calm down. <laughs> I'm just gonna like type in jump bug. See what that is like. Just get some images up. So that's your favorite game of all time. That's a cool looking arcade cabinet. Jump Bug. I've never seen that game before. I played it on a German version of the ColecoVision. You play VW Bug that constantly bounces. You can determine the trajectory and height of those bounces. And you basically dodge or shoot enemies with a sort of puffy cloud things shot from the car we found on MAME. Yeah, I'm looking up pictures of it now. I love the cabinet. Dang, I've never seen that. Yeah, there it is in the Coleco vision. I really like the colors in this in that game. Dang, jump bug. That looks fun, actually. Yes. Yes. Oh, right fall sheriff station. Oh, I... Hello? Hello? We should make a ColecoVision collection for the consoles. Put that on there. This is bad. Dang, this one's hurting me. Gotta get out of here. Oh, that was close. There we go. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. <laughs> there were no bodies. Something they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Let me see if there's a can pyramid around this part of the. Chapter 1 C is this? It shows there's a lot of copy thermoses here. Um, yeah, there is a, a can pyramid, but I think I might have already passed it. Let me uh, refer to the late part of it. It's from 1981, so there's not much to it, but I still love it probably because it was one of the first gaming experiences, if not the first. Yeah, I mean that's totally cool, though. That's like you know, it's got 
a story to it. You know, one of the first games you ever played got you into gaming. You know, I can't remember the first game I played. I really can't. Um, oh, I, I don't know. I remember some games I used to play, like Super Nintendo and NES. But I can't remember the first game I ever played. I mean, I was in love with gaming as a, as a little kid, obviously, as most of us are. And it just sort of grew and grew and grew. Like, I feel like I'm into gaming today more than I've ever been in my entire life, which is pretty crazy. Like, I just appreciate games more than I ever have. Manuscript pages. That's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for the beer camp pyramids. Okay. It says by the second lumber yard on the table near the broken stairs, there's a beer camp pyramid here. And I don't know. There's only one sign here in the first chapter as well. A game doesn't have to have much to it to be good, you know? Simple games. Like, I still enjoy simple, a lot of simple games. I wish I could stream a lot of different stuff. Like, like Tetris is always a fun game for me, and that's a simple game. Frogger, I like Frogger too, a lot. Um, Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, love Mrs. Pac-Man. So I think Jump Bug will be right up my alley. Something simple and fun to play. Quite addicting. One of my favorite games ever is a very simple game. is uh, Turtles in Time. It's just a beat em up, but it's so fun. I love that game. The last place I wanted to go. But I had no choice. I wish I could I play uh, Turtles. Actually, I have Turtles in Time reshelled on my 360. I could probably, I could play that one. <laughs> but I have the original version of Turtles in Time on Super Nintendo that I can't play because I don't have a Super Nintendo anymore. Which is that that version of the game is my favorite. Tetris is one of the most successful games out there. It's simple but brilliant. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, Tetris is just something that's just going to be timeless. Like, it's never going to get old. It's just, it's such a good game. I have it on my Game Boy, Tetris, and I, I love it. I used to sit and play that game. All the time. I wouldn't say I'm a great Tetris player, but I can hold my own. So far, so good on Nightmare Difficulty. Looking to see if there's a can pyramid somewhere, because I know there's another one. And it could, like I said, it could have been one I've already gotten before in the past. I, I don't remember, but it's worth just checking out to see if I see it. I'll pick up any extra collectibles that I can. You have Tetris on your MP3 player. What? That's really cool. Your MP3 player plays Tetris. One day I'll make a top like 20 favorite games of all time video for my YouTube. Um, maybe like a two part thing like numbers 20 through you know 11 and then the top 10 in the next video. But it'd be so hard to compile like I, so many games I love it would be really tough to, to pick 
I mean, obviously, the top three would be pretty easy for me. But everything after that is where it would get really difficult. I'd have to really, like, think about it and just, like, study, you know, like, the pros and cons of the games and why I love them. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. It's great that everybody's favorite game is usually different. Like, everybody has a different kind of style, but... Like, you like Jump Bug. I've never even heard of that game, and that's your favorite game. So that's something I just learned about. That's really cool. And now, if I see it somewhere, you know, say I go to an arcade sometime and happen to see one of those machines in there, I'll be like, I'm going to play this game. Because Sparky said this is his favorite game, I'm going to give it a go. And I might not really think much of it if I didn't know about that. Um, I watch uh, the YouTuber Metal Jesus Rocks, and his favorite game of all time is a game I've played on the channel a little bit, but I wasn't in love with. It was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's a good game, but the combat system was so weird for me. I couldn't get used to it. I couldn't. <laughs> I got stuck because I couldn't do it. I'd like to play more of that game because it's good, but kind of interesting that's his favorite game of all time because I found it to be a little frustrating but he probably knows what he's doing in the game unlike me Stucky was still out there in the dark Stalking. and no specific order then as a zero recommendations thing or something well that's actually a good idea too just be like zero recommendations uh my favorite games in no particular order yet. I mean, it would be fun to do like a top 20, like it really would, because I'd have to really think about it. And it would be just like current, because I know that there's games that I'll end up playing, you know, in the next several years or something. You know, new games that come out that will end up being games that I, I love, you know. You never know. Like,. I didn't foresee State, State of Decay 2 being one of my favorite games of all time, but that definitely did. I can say without a doubt that's at least a top 10 of my favorite games ever. I knew I was going to enjoy the game, but I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I have. Oh! We got the axe throwers now. Come to the party. I doubt you'll find a jump bug cabinet. They're pretty rare because the game didn't perform that well sales wise. Oh, okay. That's a shame. So I saw the cabinet in some pictures there on Google when I was looking it up, and I really liked the cabinet. It looked really cool. We used to own an arcade machine, my family. We used to own uh, Final Fight, that beat em up game, Final Fight. We used to have an arcade of that in our basement growing up. My dad had um, collects antiques. He had, um, so we had that. We had like four or five different pinball machines. We had another little like slide bowling machine. I don't know what you could call it, but we had Final Fight. So I beat that game all the time. Even that could be considered one of my top 20 favorite games just because of the nostalgia I have for that game. Final Fight. Playing it in the arcade in my basement. But all the machines have been sold. Okay, we gotta go up there. Okay, I think that they're... Okay, I'm gonna look to see if I see a, a can pyramid around. <sighs> Dang, I've got a horrible headache all of a sudden. I took medicine like earlier too. But like the headache is just the staircase was broken. Really bad. I had to make my way up some other way. I 
think the other pure, uh, beer can pyramid is supposed I to be around stay. here. There had to be a way to get up there. Might be up there or some. I don't know. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Yeah, I'm up what to do here. I'm just looking around. Gotta build a bridge. I think we're getting towards uh, this is close to the end of this first episode. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. I love Streets of Rage on my Mega Drive Genesis, and Final Fight was the precursor for that, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah, I believe you're right. There were Streets of Rage, Streets of Rage 2, and like the Genesis and stuff. I don't know if the arcade version of Final Fight was ever ported to a console. It might have been. I just always played the arcade version because we had it, so I never knew it was really on a console. Oh! Time to use these batteries. Ah, right in the face. I, he threw an axe at my head. I might call him an axe hole. What an axe hole. Let's start the generator. Yeah, I love beat em ups. Really do. They're just, I mean, they're like monotonous at times, but they're just so fun. Why are they so fun? We don't know. It's just fun to beat things up, I guess. Turtles in Time, though. My favorite. Can't tell you how many times I've beaten that game. I've probably beaten Turtles in Time more than I've beaten any other game. That or Final Fight. <laughs> I probably beat Final Fight so many times as well. Alright, here we go. Now this isn't a 20 plus stream. No, use nice words. <laughs> Gotta save those for the 20 plus streams. That's right. Can't say axe hole here. Come on, log, move. Move, darn it. There we go. Okay. There's supposed to be a, a beer can pyramid up here. It's like near the broken stairs, but I probably already shot it before. It's over here. Yeah, as you can see, I've already taken care of that. So beer can. So that's ni nice to see that the beer can pyramids don't stay up after you've already taken them out, no matter when. That way you know that you've already gotten it. So, let's go grab uh, that. It's just a radio show, yeah. Let's go grab this chest over here. There we go, on ammo. The 
gas station There's the lights. Now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Makes the best dogs in the state. Belly Burster. Monster Dog is second best. This guy's giving us uh, reviews of... Famous Dog is third best. I guess they aren't that famous, though. Gosh, hurry up. Oh, he still threw it at me. What a jerk. What a jerk. Can't believe you did that. I was going to stream, uh,. American McGee's Alice and try and finish that tonight, but like they said, I already have a little bit of a headache already and uh make it worse. I'm getting frustrated with that game right now. So maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling a little better. Oof. We got two Axe throwers here. Oh, come on. Don't be doing that. Okay. Up here. Up here we go. Gosh, you can get lost in here, though, so easily. Gotta follow that little yellow dot on the map, though. On the compass. Rocks moving around. More flare gun ammo. So we get a big group of guys, we're just gonna fire this flare gun at them. Yep. The <laughs> things that these guys say when they're trying when they're about to attack us. Hey, I missed two of them. They're trying to surround me here. Here's the second lumber yard. That's right. This might be where the uh, other other pyramid's supposed to be. Maybe not. I love those little things. We don't have to watch those though. I don't need to do that. In Night Springs. I love those little Night Spring episodes. Okay, here we go.
Fully loaded. They're stucky. I'm gonna use my flare gun against Stucky up there. Come on, grab more ammo too. Dang, there's more guys coming. There he is. Get rid of this guy first. Stucky. Where is he? Come on. I don't think I can get him with the flare gun because he won't stand. Oh. Oh, nice. I feel like I'm taking out in one hit there. Finished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. There's supposed to be a sign that you can read, like one of the collectible sign readings at the uh, gas station, I think. I probably already got it though before. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world they do itself. Pretty sure that this is the sign that you can read here. The Maybe not. The had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. A look around here. Of course, there's that manuscript page. Can't go in the restrooms. Ah, yes. I gotta go into the garage. It says gasoline. They couldn't even like make a real sign for that. Breakers farm apples. Sheriff Breaker? Pick your own apples. You think that's Sheriff Breaker? It's gotta be, right? The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Alright. I'll keep writing. Outside there's only darkness. Outside the there's Alan like Outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence in the dark. Just now I could smell a perfume in the room. That's about the deer fest. There's the sign. Oh wait, wait. We gotta find the snacks. Where are they? Those little gummy things. What are they called? I forget the name of these things. Oh shoot! I didn't want to do that. More beer cans. Coffee. Making me go read the sign again. What the heck? Trying to read these sour yummies. 
I don't remember the signs being a thing. Been too long. Yeah, because you can see. I have all the coffee thermoses now, 100 to 100. The bottom one, signs found, 23 of 25. That's considered a collectible. Can pyramids, 11 of 12. I found all the chests, the radio shows, TV shows. Manuscripts a while. Look how many batteries I've used in my time playing this game. Over 1,800. <laughs> That's crazy. Indirect kills, 1,200. My goodness, so. I don't know if I'm going to find all the collectibles right now in this playthrough of it, but you know, at least I have all the coffee thermoses now. But I'll look around a little extra just to see. Right ball, Sheriff Station. I believe this is the end of the first episode, huh? Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. <laughs> Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized nope. I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I love Breaker. She's awesome. There we go. And cue some Roy Orbison, which we'll skip over right away, unfortunately. So there we go. Resume. So we'll skip that. We got this, of course. Thank you which we can me. skip as well. And we'll start this up and then I'm going to end the, this first part here until we get into the second episode. We'll let this little cutscene play out. Clean shaved, Alan. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. <laughs> coffee all right so that's gonna do it for this first part of this playthrough guys uh game will get harder obviously because it does on nightmare difficulty it's uh there's some parts where they just send a lot of guys after you at once so i'm probably gonna die several times but thank you so much sparky for being here on the stream really appreciate it always fun chatting with you um thank you everyone so much for watching uh this game I know this game doesn't get a ton of views on my channel, but I don't care. I love this game so much. Any excuse I can give myself to play this game more, I will do it. Um, and Nightmare Difficulty, it is. So hopefully you guys will join me on this journey, and we can find a few more collectibles perhaps along the way. I might stream again later tonight if I'm feeling up to it. I don't know, but if not, well, we'll have this to watch, and I'll be uploading stuff on YouTube throughout the next couple days so again thank you Sparky and hopefully everybody takes care has a good day good night till next time everybody zero is the number <laughs>